I've noticed some really beautiful harp videos taken out in nature and I wanted to learn more from some YouTube harpist friends who have done that really well. Maybe you'd like to hear about that too. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn from ChristyLynnMusic.com and welcome to Harp Help where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. I have noticed this wonderful YouTube channel by a lovely harpist called Emily and she puts up harp covers of pop songs and sometimes she does them outside and they're just the most beautiful videos. So over the past few months or maybe even years I connected with Emily and made friends with her and I've been chatting to her and I asked her whether maybe she'd be willing to share her experience with you guys. So I'm really happy to share this with you and I hope you go and check out her lovely YouTube channel and subscribe and tell her that you came from Christy Lynn's channel um, because I really want to spread the love between the harpists here on YouTube. But anyway, I hope you enjoy what she has to share. Thank you so much, Emily. Hi everybody, I'm Emily and I'm from France. After filming dozens of videos in your house, you finally found a beautiful spot outside and you're seriously thinking about making a video there. That's why Christy Lynn invited me on her channel. It's to talk with you about tips and tricks for making harps videos outside. So let's get started. Number one, don't rush. Take time to plan everything. When you film at home, if you forget your camera in another room, it's fine. But this can't happen if you just drove two hours to reach the place. So two or three days before, you can make a list of everything you need. So on the D-Day, you'll be sure to have everything. Number two, get to know the place where you are going to make the video. I have an interesting experience with my Game of Thrones video that I filmed in a park where I used to go when I was young. So I went there a couple of times and I found this beautiful bridge and I thought, great, this is a beautiful spot for my video. So I went home, I put my harp and stuff in the car and I drove there. But I finally realized that I couldn't go that far with the car and I have to walk with my harp. And this bridge is farther than it looks when you have to carry your harp. So it took me 30 minutes to get there. I was exhausted. I had to calm down to finally film this video. And now I know that if I went there a couple of times before and get to know the place, this clearly wouldn't happen. Number three, find a place where you feel comfortable playing there. I usually play in my bedroom. I'm not a live performer and even when I was playing in my garden, I felt nervous knowing that my neighbors could hear me. So for me, playing outside, going out of my comfort zone was very challenging. So I had to find quite a place where I knew that no one would stop and listening to me. Because I'm not even performing, I'm just playing a few measures, then I stop and I move the camera and I play a few other measures. So it's kind of weird for you and for people who are listening. So my advice is to find a quiet place where you feel good, where you can stop playing, play again, do mistakes, where there is no one and you can play without feeling nervous. Number four, if you can, don't go alone. And not for the reason that you need someone for carrying the heart for you. Even if it's a really safe place, you never know what could happen. If you put your camera 10 meters away from you, you would be more than happy to know that there is someone next to it. So ask a friend or a sister like I do to come with you. Number five, keep in mind that it will be way different than filming inside. Outside, anything can happen. It can be a simple thing like always have to change the white balance because it's cloudy or for example in my Lion King's video it was really sunny and really windy so because of the sun I couldn't see what I was filming and because of the wind I couldn't hear the music on my computer so at the end I have a video of me frowning with my hair all around my face and I also had to ask my sister to sing because I couldn't hear the music so yeah, outside, anything can happen. So at the very end, I can say that even if you know these five tips by heart, keep in mind that the world is still against you when you play outside. But I can also say that all my very good memories are when I was playing outside. So take a risk, 
go out of your comfort zone and try. Thank you, Christine, for letting me be a part of your hot hair journey. Bye, everybody. Wasn't that amazing? Thank you so much, Amelie. You're so sweet and you have such amazing information to share with us all. So if you enjoyed that, make sure you check out Amelie's channel and subscribe and tell her that you came from Christy Lynn's video because I'd like to know, her to know that some of you came across from my channel and enjoyed what she does too. And make sure you also give this video a thumbs up because it really helps. And then I'd love to hear from all of you. Have you tried playing your harp outside? Isn't that such an amazing feeling when you have your harp out in nature? They just seem to go so well together. And maybe you have some funny stories related to that. Like maybe, I don't know, bugs crawling up on your arms or people standing and watching you when you didn't realize they were there. Or maybe you just had a wonderful experience. You can share that too. I'd love to read your comments down below. And I try to answer as many of them as I can. And I'm sure Emily is also going to be reading your comments. So make sure you share your opinion. And if you're new to this channel and you, it's your first time being here, then make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you a part of this family. We're all about sharing the love of harp and growing together in our journey as harpists. So I'll be putting out a new video next week Thursday again and I hope to see you there. Bye!